<laughs> Nicely played. Hi, guys. Hi. First and foremost, thank you. I, I love, I, I run in back to change into the fancy pants every week. And I get to overhear through the bathroom wall if no one's flushing. <laughs> this incredible community sharing with you their interpretation of the commandments we came up with. And I got to tell you, you found some distortions I never would have thought of, and I love them. Thank you, guys. Yay! You know, I love this place. Every single week, it brings me new madness. I'm not the only one who loves this place. I think you guys love it, too. A little. Okay, well, it's okay if you don't love it. I, I wanted to tell you guys about some cool things that were going on. First of all, last week, there were two people who love the open stage that were here that were reporters for various news outlets in our fair city, and they are currently writing articles about your beloved show. So, coming soon, be really kind, please. Coming soon, be really nice. Hopefully, we'll get some press. Secondly... Marie Martin of the Circus Freaks had a video that went vaguely viral because we received an email in Portuguese. And we went and we translated it because, come on, let's face it, we want to know what the hell they were saying because it could have been anything. And apparently, a local flagger here sent it over there. Wait. Way over there. Well, kind of that way. Yeah. Ish, yeah, sort of that, yeah, okay. And uh, it got picked up, and it's being viewed as a new way to look at flag dance. <laughs> Monday night, redefining your favorite art forms. Yeah, I love this place. I mean, it is awesome. Every single week we have, you know, the House of Poets takes great care of us. Alex loves this place. She's performed on our stage. Um, and it goes, it goes without saying that our, our, our big host, Nassif, who's probably hiding in the corner listening on his security cameras, loves us and lets us be here every week for the last nine months. Woo! And we thank you for that. For the last nine months, I'm going to tell you a secret. The House of Poets has allowed us to operate at a loss in order to be here. Whoa. They believe in this project. Last week, I sat down with Nassif and he said to me, we are upgrading the House of Poets to be a hookah bar every day of the week. So we can continue to do things like this one day a week. Monday is still yours. Now we get some spiffy couches out of the deal. I'm pretty excited about it. We get some, we get some spiffy upgrades out of the deal. Um, he did say that he needs to stop losing money. He doesn't need to get rich on us, but he needs to stop losing money. And we sat down and we talked about it, and the answer was pretty simple. We're going to raise our ticket price to $10 starting next week, and that will be used, that extra money will go to him to keep this place open. And the reason I think this is very exciting, while it is a little bit of extra money, the reality is we are no longer a charity case. We now stand on our own two feet as an event, and we can, like I've said recently, build from here. Now, as long as I had Nassif at the table, I figured I should talk to him about some other things. First of all, obviously we got the couches, which I dig. Yeah. Second off, the number one complaint voiced relating to money about the open stage was the BYOB fees. Nassif agreed to waive them from now, from next week forward. Wow. Yeah. I want you guys to understand the house is on our side. This is a partnership to do amazing and insane things. Moving forward from here, we're going to get bigger, we're going to get louder, and we're all going to be a part of it. Okay? The last thing I talked to him about was this time of year. And, and this is something that's been very much on my mind. We're entering that that part of the year that is really emotionally difficult for a lot of people. I don't know what your... I mean, I figure if you're showing up here on Monday night, your relationship with your family is probably a little unusual. Uh, and for those, for those people who do have to go and pretend to be someone, 
and they get to act out and be themselves here, I want to let you know from now to the end of the year, we will run without interruption every week. No matter, you're welcome, no matter how nuts it gets, no matter if you're sitting at Thanksgiving dinner and you've got your fork under the table and you're debating whether or not to stab Uncle Al. <laughs> Uncle Al was a fictional character created for this conversation who in no way resembles my actual Uncle Al. So if you're sitting there thinking about stabbing someone under the table, I want you to do what we weren't able to do last year because, well, we didn't exist yet, but now we can do from here on out. And that's to say, all I have to do is make it to Monday and I can go home where the crazy people who know me are. And we will be here waiting for you every single week.